Hi folks, Tim here from High End Cheap Tech, and we switched back to the Alcatel 7 the other day, hopefully that's focusing, remember I don't have my glasses on, but it's a really good phone folks, uh, for the price, and currently I don't know what the price is, but you could get them on Metro from T-Mobile for free when you switched over to a new line. Now you might be able to find a Metro store in your area if you have T-Mobile in your area. Or they might have one or two in the back and you can wheel and deal for it. It's a good phone. Um, I said I was gonna test it for one day, but at the end of the day I had so much battery left over, I took it to work today. And all day on this six inch phone, I did all kinds of cool stuff. We'll get to that right after the intro. Let's do that right now. Hi folks. Tim here just cutting in. Quick message about TubeBuddy.com, as you will see coming up on the screen right now. TubeBuddy is the premier tool for helping you edit and maintain your presence as a creator on YouTube. It integrates flawlessly. If you have a free version, uh, it goes right into your browser and you use it as you're you know, doing your editing and, uh, and uploading. And it, it's an excellent tool. Uh, as far as prices go, the price is coming up on the screen. Um, if you get the free version, a lot of times they'll offer you, uh, they'll make you an offer. They made me an offer, and I'm only paying $4.50 a month. So, check it out at the link that you're going to see on the screen, and at the link below, uh, www.tubebuddy.com forward slash high-end cheap tech. And now let's get back to that video we were doing. Yeah, we had to switch over to, you know, showing a YouTube buddy ad right after the intro because we're not getting subscribers. But if you miss the point on doing the switch over to the Alcatel, uh, the point is that's a two gig phone. <coughs> and I... I took it to work today. <coughs> yes, I brought it to because <coughs> I'm not going to shoot any videos on that camera from the Alcatel because, like, you know, this is for work. We want the highest quality videos we can get and uh, way more power to edit with. But other than that, I was able to, you know, put the case on it, add the uh, wireless charging to it. And when I got home today, after two days of use, watching videos, you know, not movies, just a few videos here, a few videos there. Just doing the average, you know, playing music through Bluetooth to my uh, headset. I still had 66% left. So if you're thinking of getting a phone for somebody who doesn't stare at their phone all day, I had Messenger on, I had, uh, I got messages. It hooked right up to the AT&T network here. It's, you're going to get a SIM warning because it can't do certain things that Metro wants it to do. So, that stuff is still in there. But that's okay. Uh, it's a great phone. But the point here is things to look out for when you're buying a budget phone. Number one. You want to have expandability. Now the Mi A2 doesn't, 
I still recommend it. If you have you know, any discipline at all for deleting crap you don't need. Uh, but this phone, yeah, the, me, uh, Alcatel, I was able to stuff a 128 gig micro SD card into it. I got so much room that it doesn't matter. So when you go out, look for looking for phones for parents or grandparents who are going to snap a few 30 second videos this will get the job done something like this it got the job done for me for a whole day at work and I didn't have that much screen on time maybe two, two and a half hours and it still said I had two days left at 66% is that insane? Yeah, it's a 4,000 milliamp hour phone. So look for 4,000 milliamp hour phones with decent displays, at least, you know, a good 1080p, 2160. Uh, look for IPS. Don't pay the money for AMOLED because you won't. With an IPS, you will not get burn in. I did a video on that just recently. Uh, OLED is great. If you know what the hell you're doing with your settings, your parents, grandparents, and kids certainly aren't going to. So, I just wanted to give you a follow-up. And that's pretty much it. We will now be... Oh, here's a couple of pictures... Or here's a picture I shot with the Alcatel just before shooting the video. And it takes, you know, that was inside with some overhead lighting on and using the flash. It takes adequate pictures. It really does. It, it actually takes decent videos. You would want to use a gimbal with it. I don't think it has any EIS, but it will shoot at 1080p 30 frames. Not bad. Not bad at all. So... Don't, and there goes all my uh, notifications. You would think I'd learn by now to turn them both off. Yeah, I got one from the Alcatel and the one from the Mi A2 that we're filming on. But uh, in the picture, you, you can see the Mi A2 laying there, and... Uh, the SIM card ejector because we're going back to the Mi 2 tomorrow. I mean, I'm thinking of doing a giveaway on this or I might just sell it. You tell me what I should do in the feedback below and read the description. And all that stuff in the picture is stuff we've linked to. I don't know where you can still get the Alcatel. Possibly find a T-Mobile or a, a Metro dealer. It's going to have to be a Metro. You have to be in a T-Mobile area, and I'm not. And they may have one laying around and give you a super good price on it. Or they may throw it in with a new line or a new subscription or switching over. So that's all I have for tonight. So please, like, share, subscribe. And uh, share this and leave feedback. That's all I got. I'll throw uh, a couple of videos up here that were done recently. Thanks for watching. Have a fantastic evening. Now using the Impulse selfie stick to kill the rem rem remotely kill the video. Click.